Today we shall be unboxing the Yugi Moto structure deck as well as three booster packs of Battle City as a little bonus. So let's start off with the structure deck. Let's have a look at the box first. Uh, we can see Yugi Moto or well Yami basically together with uh, Dark Magician. I really really like his uh, his sprite here, like his art design. I really like this one. And at the back we can see all the cards that are included, so this will basically focus around the uh, the Magnet Warriors instead of uh, Spellcasters and all, so that should be interesting. But of course we still have Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, even a Buster Blade, uh, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, um, together with the, well, the, the fusion monsters like Dark Paladin, Arcana, Night Joker and all. So yeah. That uh, that does sound very interesting, and I really really like the uh, design of the box. Oh, they changed the design of uh, the package inside apparently. The first of all, we have the uh, beginner's guide, like you get in uh, all structure decks. So uh, can put that one aside. Oh, here's the battlefield, I guess. Yeah. Oh wow. I think I don't have enough space for the entire. <laughs> Entire battlefield here, but um, here we can see the new uh, fusion monster with all the magnet warriors. And we have uh, Yami, and then of course the Dark Magician. And in the back, we can actually see some uh, some combinations here on uh, like how to play them and all. Uh, some little sneak peeks of the monsters and uh, trap cards and spells we can expect in these boosters, or like uh, the structure deck. I mean, so yeah, that that should be interesting. That should be interesting. Oh, right. Nice, nice. Okay, so first of all, we have Imperian Magnum, the Superconductive Battle Bot. That's a mouthful. It's a rock fusion monster, and you can see. Oh my! Look, look at it sparkling. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So he is a fusion monster with Valkyrian, the Magna Warrior, Berserker, the Electro Magna Warrior. So those are new monsters. Um, I don't know what they look like yet, so uh, let's find out together. We'll put this one uh, this side here. So we have here we have Berserkion, the Electro Magna Warrior. Nice. These look pretty damn cool, if you ask me. I really like them. Then we have Alpha, the Electro Magna Warrior. I always like the uh, the original cards, you know, the normal monsters. Uh, but I never build a deck around them. So maybe I can now with these new cards. I mean, they look pretty damn cool. And here we have Beta, the Electro Magnet Warrior. Those seem to have a uh, decent effect as well. If this card is normal, a special summon, you can add a 1 level 4 or lower Magnet Warrior monster from a deck to your hand. Ex except another uh, Beta, the Electro. Electromagnet Warrior. That's a mouthful to say, by the way. So uh, it seems like they all kind of have that effect. Like Alpha here has the same effect with, uh, but with a level eight one. So that is really, <laughs> really messed up. Here we have Gamma, who has the same effect as Beta from the first, uh, first uh, looks of it. Oh my lord! <laughs> Here we have Curryborn. <laughs> oh god, he is amazing. I like him. I really like him. At the end of the battle phase, you can discard this card, then target one monster in the graveyard that was destroyed by battle, and send that this turn. Special summon it. When an opponent monster is declared an attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target any number of Curryborn monsters in your graveyard and special summon them. <laughs> wow! Oh, here we have Falkyrian. Nice. Oh, so the uh, yeah. Here we, oh my lord, look at this. Look at this. That's amazing. Here we can see all the original cards as well. Oh my god! And now we have the Dark Magician. Oh my lord, this this art is. I think this one is my favorite up to now. Then we have the uh, Dark Magician girl. Uh, the uh, the original artwork for him. And then we have Buster Blader, same original artwork. 
They have Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, and King's Knight, who I actually used in my uh, Warrior deck. So that's that's pretty cool. Look at them. I really like them. I really like them. So if you have uh, Queen's Knight on the field and then you summon King's Knight, you can actually special summon Jack's Knight. And if you have a uh, Polymerization, then you can uh, make Arcane a Knight Choker. So, uh... Next up is Deformed, um, together with Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, who uh, we will see again later. Then we have Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. I always liked him. I always liked him. He cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has 1,900 attack or higher. So um, he's pretty damn useful, but I mean his attack is decent as well. If you give him a decent equip card and all that, uh, he might be very nice in battle. Giant Soldier of Stone, a basic uh, high defense god we all know from the beginning of the game. Kuribo, we all know him as well, of course. Nice, a skilled dark magician. I already have quite some of those in my uh, spellcaster deck as well. Um, then we have a skilled white magician, which kind of uses the same effect, but uh, for Buster Blader instead. Then we have Twin Headed Behemoth. He looks pretty damn cool. Look at that. Damn. I always like the design of him. He always reminds me of uh, the PlayStation 2 game, uh, Duelist of the Roses, where you can pick him as a, uh, um, a, a tech captain in the beginning of the game, for those of you who play the game. so It's a really cool game, you should check it out if you haven't yet. There we have Magnetic Fields. Uh, I don't know this card, actually. To control a level 4 or lower Earth type, uh, rock type monster. You can target one level 4 or lower Magnet Warrior monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only use this effect of Magnetic Field once per turn. Once per turn at the end of the damage step when an Earth Rock type monster you control battle to an opponent monster, but the opponent monster was not destroyed by battle, you can return that opponent's monster to the hand. Damn! <laughs> Get the three of these together with the Magnetic Warriors and uh, you've got a very... Good uh, basic deck already. Yeah, that's, a, that's a nice card. You have Dark Magic Inheritance. It's a new card as well. A uh, card I, I've been waiting for. Then uh, Dark Magic Attack. Uh, if you control Dark ma Magician, destroy all spell or trap cards your opponent controls. That's really, really useful. Same with Dark Magic Curtain. Um, pay half of your life points to special summon a Dark ma Magician from the deck. Nice card as well. Oh, Mystic Box! That one monster your opponent controls, and one monster you control, destroy the first target, then give control of the second target to your opponent. So, um, I think that, that works pretty well if you have the Curryborn, and you can special summon a lot of uh, Curryborn to the other side of the field. Then use this, then uh, that might really work, seeing as Curryborn doesn't have the, uh, well, the best stats already, so... Swords of Revealing Light, we all know that. A Spell Shattering Arrow. Polymerization, of course, a uh, diffusion. Souls of Concealing Light, that's a nice card as well. Um, then Attack the Moon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this one. But I, I never used it because it uses uh, rock type monsters. And I never had a deck around that, like I said in the beginning. Magnet Conversion, that's a new card as well. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> if Alpha and uh, Beta, the Magnetic Warrior, there. Um, Looks uh, pretty cool there. Magician Circles, again a very, very useful card uh, in a uh, Dark Magician deck. So when a Spellcaster monster declares an attack, each player special summons one Spellcaster monster with 2000 or less attack from the deck and attack position. Nice, we have a Mirror Force. <laughs> one of the best cards in the game. That should be like an any deck. There we have Magic Silinda, very useful as well. Soul Rope, I'm not very fond of these, but you know, I guess it might work in this deck. Rock Bombardment, uh, send, rock type monster, send, send one Rock type monster from your deck to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Meh, not the best, I'm not very fond of this one. Oh, no. oh wow! <laughs> Arcana Knight Joker, look at that art. Oh god, this one is beautiful. So this is the fusion monster for um for these three we saw earlier. Damn, look at that, he looks amazing. 
He looks amazing. I really, I, I prefer this one over the original, I guess. They have Dark Paladin, so uh, the uh, fusion monster of Dark Magician and Buster Blade. Really nice card as well. They have Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, the fusion monster of Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, and before Myth Nice. And finally, oh wow. <laughs> Buster Blade, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. One Buster Blade and one Dragon Type monster. I don't know, do we have any Dragon Types in this deck? I haven't paid attention to that. Overall, I, I, I like this deck. I really do. Uh, I don't have the uh, Kaiba Structure deck. But um, I must say that I, I do really like the Zukimoto deck. Um, it has some f a very nice variety of cards. Very nice ones. Very strong monsters. Nice combination with the, the spell cards. But um, you might want to add some of your own. But overall, I, I do believe this is to be a, a pretty decent deck on its own. So just add some uh, mystical space typhoons there. Maybe some more monsters or just get rid of um, Buster Blader. This one overall. And yeah, you, you've got a very nice deck in my opinion. So... Um, Anyway, let uh, let me clean these cards up real quick, and then we can uh, continue to the three booster packs that I have lying around here, and see what's in those. So um, we got the uh, three dualist pack, battle city packs, F five cards per pack. Um, I bought these for two euro a piece, so six in total for fifteen cards. And I'm really wondering what will be in there. So these uh, packs contain a lot of monsters. From the uh, the anime, such as Jinzo, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician as well. So all cards that have been used in the Battle City uh, series. So uh, let's 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 just see what's inside of them. Right, here's the first pack. Let's take them from the back. <sighs> okay, you guys ready? First card. Ooh, a Foolish Burial. Nice, a rare foolish burial. That's very nice card. Happy with that one. A Kuribo, oh, look, that one will be very useful in the deck actually. <laughs> we just got. And we have a mag magical stone excavation. Mm, might also be useful in the deck, but uh, I've never been a very big fan of this card. And then we have. Another Queen's Nine, no, nice, look at that. Got some decent pulls in this first pack. Then, finally we have a Blue Eyes Twin Dragon. Just a uh, common one. It's a bit unfortunate, uh, I also don't play Twin Monsters, so... But, you know, overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with this pack. It's a nice pull. Second pack here. Oh, wait, I don't have all of them. I only have one, wait. <laughs> Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, let's have a look. First card. I Dark Magician. Nice. Look at that. Wow. I always like this art as well. <laughs> oh, nice. Next one is... Ooh, a Dark Necrofair. No. Damn. That's pretty amazing as well. Then we have a Black Lost Ritual. All right. Next up we have a Curse of the Mask Beast. Mm. I actually have the uh, the Ritual Monster, so uh, but I never had this one. But I, do, I don't use him anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter to me. So two uh, Ritual Spell Cards. And finally we have a Harpy Lady Sister. Nice, I've actually been building a Harpy uh, deck. So, but I, I actually want them to, them to be a uh, secret right, or something, so... Um, but you know, it's, it's nice that we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, final pack. I can get them out, there we go. I hope that we get a Jinzo. I've had a Jinzo in any pool, so I hope that we will be lucky. So. Exciting. Ooh, this one is nice as well. Embodiment of Apophis. Nice. I always liked this one in the anime. Like, uh, I think 
What? No, wait. It was Mari that used him, right? Or was it Bakura? Uh, I think it was Mari, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. I do believe so, though. Then we have a... Oh, a King's Knight! Nice! Nice! <laughs> then we have a Legendary Fisherman. Nice. Very useful as well. I think uh, Tim, uh, I think Tim uh, might like this one, as he is building a, a water deck, so... Tim... Letty, this one might be yours. Then we have... Ooh, Drag Town into the Grave. Alright. Decent card. I'm not very fond of him, but, uh, you know. And finally we have a another Blacklust Ritual. Nah. It's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. Very nice pool. A very nice deck. Um, be sure to get it if you haven't yet. Very nice card in there. And I hope to see you guys next time, so take care everybody.